new tonight. Therapy dogs are making their way into classrooms, showing kids it's okay to be different. The news station's Amy Caulfield goes back to school to see their mission in action. Catherine St. John is taking a break from her AP English class at Crooms Academy in Sanford to take part in something she looks forward to twice a month. Sometimes when we'll be eating lunch and we'll realize that they're there that day, we'll just go and like leave our lunch behind and just come over here and pet them. Sit. These dogs and their owners were brought together through paw affection dog training. Owner Daryl Payne takes them through six months of rigorous training to become therapy dogs. These are dogs that we can put into any situation, anywhere, and they're not going to let the handler down, they're not going to let us down, and they're not going to let themselves down. And they can provide support. The idea is to help kids who've experienced some kind of trauma, a school shooting, a classmate suicide, even bullying. Four of the dogs have special needs and are part of a program to teach kids acceptance and show them it's okay to be different. Hope is on back wheels and Maple is on front wheels. We've got a hearing impaired pit bull and we've got a, um, a cattle dog who is blind and deaf. She likes to spin around when she gets excited. But getting this program into the schools wasn't easy. Of course, you have to think of the logistics and you have to make sure that everything is covered in terms of district permission. And we were able to do that. And now Pawfection is able to work with any of the schools in Seminole County. And we're very thankful that they started here at Crooms. Crooms principal Dr. Brandon Hanshaw realizes we live in a day and age where it's desperately needed. School violence in general, from what's on the news, is kind of scary. We have uh, code red drills every so often, and ever since a bunch of incidents, the principal has to say this is a drill like five times before the actual alarm system goes off so no one worries. So, why does it work? What is it about dog and human interaction that you don't necessarily see with other animals? Inside the, um, the dog's nose, above the roof of the mouth, is a thing called the Varoma nasal organ. That is linked to the part of the brain in the dog that deals specifically with hormones. Emotions. That's how your dog knows if it's uh, if you're not well, or if you're happy, or if you're sad. Pam Mazada loves being a witness to the special connection that her four-year-old dog Cha Cha has with the kids. The dogs come without bias, without judgment, and they're eager to see everybody. So when we're with them, you can see those students physically relax, and you can see the smile. And you know that you've made a difference in the day, and that's what brings us back every time. I feel calmer. I feel happier. I'm able to focus more, I think. In Seminole County, Amy Caulfield, Fox 35 News. Mm -hmm.